Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. Today I have a jewelry subscription for you that I have brought to you once before. It is called Mint Mongoose. So I just do the regular subscription that is just jewelry, no extra accessories. That is $15.99 per month. And you can actually get $5 off if you use my code, my link below. So I'll leave that for you in the description. So Mint Mongoose always comes in this beautiful kind of teal bubble mailer. And then inside we've got this nice little envelope. There's usually like a card inside. Let me just double check and see. Um, there's usually a treat and I think it's always a Werther's original. I kind of wonder where the um, origin of that is. But yes, indeed, we've got a nice little Werther's original for me to enjoy a little bit later on. Um, I have seen what this month's collection is all about and I am so excited to share it with you so let's just take a look inside of this little envelope with the little wax seal that's got a little minty mongoose on it so I'm just pulling this out and then inside it looks like we've just got a little thank you and it's telling us where to find them on social media um, by the way you guys if you haven't already found me over on Instagram please do it's just Maui underscore Noel I'll leave the link for that below as well and then just some minty tissue paper holding everything together there is a card in here this time so this is a little uh, change they're actually kind of explaining the collections a little bit more um, starting with this one which has a lot of meaning to the owner to the founder so inside of that tissue I have these three items that are all in plastic and some are in bubble wrap so let's just go ahead and see now this is the card that I got we've got some pictures of someone and then on the back it tells us a little bit more about the pieces so it says our inspiration her name was Bonnie Lee Mitchell as many knew her mom or ma as my sister and I knew her I could go on endlessly about the blessing she was in our lives but I will focus specifically on the pieces of her my sister and I incorporated into the design of this month's jewelry set there is um, a couple of pendants I believe and a set of earrings so let's read a little bit more about that so the first one that I'm seeing is the green and four leaf clovers. Our mama was a St. Paddy's Day girl through and through, born on St. Paddy's Day 1960 and went to be with God on St. Paddy's Day 2012. She was big on sporting green all March and we couldn't think of a better color to celebrate her. So I'm surprised that they didn't do this collection back in March. So just opening this guy up and we'll see what's inside. It's cute. I can see that on the end of the chain there's a little like medallion that actually has a little mint mongoose so that you know that it is one of their designs so it's like trapped in this bubble wrap you guys and I can't figure out my way in so I might have to use some scissors but hopefully not hopefully I can just sneak my way in there we go so you do choose in your preferences if you prefer silver or gold and I did say that I like gold but so far on um, the last collection and this collection I think I actually would have preferred the silver um, so I might have to just tell them and change that up and say that I would do either one so let me just show you there's this little there's this little mongoose on this little medallion here let me get him to get still that's cute so this is a longer chain and then it's got this little four leaf clover so I probably would prefer this necklace just because um, I don't wear a lot of uh, long necklaces I would probably prefer this on a shorter chain so I'm wondering if I'm able to change that up or if it's actually like stuck on there because of the clasps I would probably prefer this four leaf clover on a shorter chain just because if I am going to wear a longer necklace then I usually feel like that pendant needs to be a little bit bigger so that it actually shows up so it looks like it is something that I could probably slide off of of the chain which does have a bunch of different lengths that you could do but it is already at one of the shortest lengths so um, I might just change that up and put it on a different one so I'm not as fond especially of the like more antiqued metal it almost looks like a rose gold or a copper um, I would prefer more of a yellow gold I think in this case or like I said I would probably prefer it in the silver um, so I might have to change then you watch it like I'll say that I like silver better and then the next month I'll like it better in the gold so there it is in the silver if you can see and you're already getting a sneak peek of the amazing locket that I think I will really really like so it says let's get into it it is a hefty locket you guys but it is such a beautiful piece let me see if I can get into this all right 
some more bubble wrap for me to struggle with. I have found the trick is to just kind of like peel the two pieces apart. So this is really pretty. I do really like it in the silver, but I'll be okay with it. It's pretty, pretty hefty, you guys. So here it is. It almost looks like malachite. Look at these dark green swirls that are inside. Gorgeous. I think this is resin. And then on the back, it's got this like scroll work. So it is really pretty in the gold as well, this kind of antiqued gold. So it does look almost like something that you would find in an antique shop. It says the back of the locket features a flower lily pattern, which was mom's favorite flower. And then let me see if I can open this guy up for you. So the hinge is at the top and I'm not seeing if it like locks closed. So it's just, it's like, maybe it's like a magnet. So it looks like maybe there's like little magnets there that kind of hold it in place. So the idea of this locket, as far as I know, is so that you can actually do more like family photos. Like I was just thinking like our wedding photos, you know, you all have so many people like lined up, but that would be like perfect for a little bit of a longer one. It's very unique shape. Um, and again, it does have a couple of different lengths that you could do. I'm not sure that I'll be able to put it on for you, but I'll give it a shot while we are playing around and reading reading all about it. So it says the locket. Everything about mom was focused on others. She lived for us, her family. Checking in with old friends and regularly visiting extended family was a priority for her. We wanted to share her celebration and love for others by inviting you to carry those who are special to you around with you. We broke the mold of the traditional tiny locket and enlarged it to be the perfect area to feature full a full family photo or multiple photos. So you could just do a whole bunch of little ones all together. So of course I pulled it apart. It is like I said, pretty hefty. I'm not sure, like I said, if I'm going to be able to put this on because if you've watched some of my earlier videos, you guys, I am not good at this. That's why I got a bunch of magnetic closures. Um, but sometimes it takes me too long to put the magnetic closure on and I don't want you to get too frustrated trying to watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around and do this kind of trick. Um, usually I have to like see what I'm doing a little bit ahead of time. Maybe I can find a loop here. So let's see. It's just short enough that I can't actually like see. So now I've got it. I'm gonna pull it around. So what a cool statement piece. And you wouldn't necessarily even know that it's a locket when you see it, but um, probably not quite the right neckline. I need something a little bit more open for it. Um, but I do think it's really pretty. The quality seems really nice. Let me know what you guys think about this locket. Um, let's open up the matching earrings that go with it. So they came in yet another little plastic bag. And then we've got a little more bubble wrap. I should have taken all of my jewelry off before I did the video, of course. That's why I was able to take that other necklace uh, from Rock's Box off so quickly because it had a magnetic closure. So these are really, really lovely. I'm just gonna show you, well, I'll show you, I'll show you one at a time so you can see. So it just matches, right? So similar. I actually think I would have preferred the locket to be maybe this size instead of as big as it is, although I do think it is unique. And then the back is just more hollow, but it does have some of those like striations in it. So let me go ahead. Um, it looks like there was like one of the um, little, little rubber backings on one of them, but not the other, but maybe it's just stuck inside of the bubble wrap, but no worries because I have plenty of those. I got like a whole collection of them just because I lose earring back. So so often so there we go you probably can't see it against my hair this is probably going to be like an earring that i would wear when i have my hair up um but i do really like it i don't know that i would wear the two together just because it is like really like matchy matchy so i'd probably let the necklace speak for itself and do like a more dainty like simple um kind of brassy colored earring or i might wear the earrings more than the locket in fact i actually don't have very many earrings in green and i do think it's a really pretty pretty color so let me know what you guys think about this collection if you preferred it in this kind of brassy color or in the silver again i do think the silver is really pretty just because it does have that kind of antique feel to it um but i'm happy to have something a little bit different i just have noticed that in their social media they tend to uh, feature the silver over over the gold 
Um, and other than that, I hope you all have a fantastic day. If you haven't already entered my subscriber appreciation giveaway, I will leave the link for that right over here and also right below, lots of links below today. And if you haven't checked that video out, do. I am giving away four different boxes to thank you for being subscribers, to thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Have a good one.